I'm very, very tired, so we're going to try and do this. This pod is empty. Completely. <sighs> so, I'm under the carport. Here's my car, and my little carport, and a pile of crap over there. Don't worry about it. License plate. Here we go. This is the side door to the kitchen. We'll see that in a minute. Here is where you come up to my front door. Here's my gargoyle. He's taking some battle damage. And I have a I have a glass patio door. And here is my front door, my new hardware that I had put on. This crocus was here. Here we go. So, this little entryway, here's an entry closet. Uh, this is less at Yo MTV Cribs than like Yo MTV Craps because there's piles of crap everywhere. But, it, you know, excuse me, I'll get taken care of. <laughs> I'm going to put like a little bench here so you can sit down and take your shoes off because I'm a shoes off house and then the shoes will go in here. Um, that's the way down to the living room. We're not going to go there just yet. This is the kitchen. Uh, I did put down tarp on the floor just in case, you know, to protect it. And I duct taped the edges so that it wouldn't flap around and catch anybody's feet. This is um, my island. And I'm going to find a joist over here and hang a pot rack over it so that it's kind of like a little station. And um, the kitchen, it's not great, but it's, I'm going to take care of it. I don't mean like the piles of crap everywhere. I mean like the fridge door with the freezer, the fridge placement, it's very awkward to the front door because the freezer, you open it, you can't get the freezer all the way open. So I'm thinking I might move that over here. Um, and these, these cabinets, they look pretty clean from here, but you know, when you go in, they're pretty grungy and I actually had to like put contact paper on them but you can kind of see they're a little dirty so in time but I do want to put like a little um, one of those little shelves with like curtains that hang down in front like half <sighs> and this is all the stuff and here's my baby what do you think Mm. And here we go into the dining room. And these piles of boxes, dining room tables and pieces. I ordered a new one actually, so that's going to come eventually. There's a piece of tape stuck to the wall over there. I don't know what that's about. Um, this is a hutch that my aunt gave my family like 15 years ago, 25 years ago, and they kept it in the garage and they don't get rid of anything. And then they were like, oh, finally you have a house. And this is that hutch. So it's mine now. We had to put it back together and clean it. This chair is from Ikea. And my idea is dining room over here with knickknacks and stuff. And then over here, and this side is going to be sort of like a little sitting area where I can sit and knit and listen to podcasts and, you know, have somebody come over and we can sit and chat. Um, I'm going to put a bar cart here for cocktails. For cocktails. Let's go downstairs. Maybe I can do this without falling. I'm going to put down my mail, which is actually junk mail, but whatever. I believe this is a finished basement. I don't think this was originally like this. I think they probably finished it. Black walls, <laughs> it's so easy. It's already done, I don't have to do anything. Um, these fold doors are from my closet. I took them off when I was removing the carpet so that it would be easier to get out. And um, I hate them because I can't get them back because all folding doors are trash that should be thrown into the sun. I don't know if that's a controversial opinion but that is my true feelings. Um, this is going to be like the entertainment area. 
and this dude is gonna I'm not sure what we're what I'm gonna do about that but you know I'll figure something out the couch is under this pile of cushions and my you can see one of my most of my um, Ikea Hemnes bookshelves did not survive very well, but they did their job and they've served me well for years. This guy, the narrow ones did a much better. So we're definitely going to keep those. And the cat can still get to his, his litter box. This is the downstairs bathroom. It does look a little dungeony as in like, you know, like the quiet bus driver that goes out and kidnaps people and keeps them in a bathroom in the basement and there's like a false wall. It is a little bit like that, <clears throat> but I'm gonna, we're gonna redo it. We're gonna see what we can do. And I took that mirror off while I was cleaning and I just never put it back. And the toilet and everything works fine. These are my, these are my fancy, super fancy LG washer dryer. Like it, it like sings a little song when it's done. It's so weird. It just blows my mind. It's the nicest thing ever. And it's washing my duvet cover and my pillows right now. This is just a big pile of crap that I need to wash. These are the back doors that lead out to the yard. And you can kind of see I've already put my some plants out there. Uh, I need to water them tonight, definitely. Um but I have big plans for back here. I've been looking into cottage gardening stuff in a big way, so I'm excited about that. This chair, um, I cleaned everything before I brought it in, or I tried to. And then these are shelves and just pieces of shelves. Um, but this is going to be kind of like the, the uh, media entertainment area where People will come and we'll watch, I'll watch movies and play video games and stuff like that. Um, that closet is kind of gross. I haven't cleaned it out yet. I did, I did, but I didn't like remove all the stuff. And the other closet has a mystery panel that I'm pretty sure is where a Babadook lives because there's no other explanation. Now we're going upstairs. So it's kind of a split level. There, Herzog again. Um, this is my office. I've been working this week, so it's it's been set up. I might get rid of that standing desk because I don't really use it anymore. This is a letter box, a letter shelf thing from a letter from a post office that my dad's cousin gave us, and I've had it ever since. Um, and then this is just like an Ikea thing full of art supplies and office things and you know, uh, that's knitting stuff. There is a closet in here and I've already put some stuff up in there and this is the back of the shell of the stairs. So I can't really do anything about that, <clears throat> but I think I could build like a little, like half a, a table with two legs in the front and it could just rest on that. And then I could put stuff, obviously not like load bearing stuff, but you know, here we are going into the bathroom. This is a mass, there, it, there's not really like a guest bathroom. The one downstairs is kind of the guest bathroom. Um, piles of stuff. Oh, it's me. Um, trash, stuff. This is Herzog's carrier and I've left it out because he's been getting in it. Uh, especially when we had no furniture, he would get in there and kind of nap and hang out. Um, this is the tub. It's, it's old. It needs to be redone. I did an experiment here with some Citrago to see if I could just remove the paint that way. And it, I don't know, it didn't work. But the paint is also falling off. <laughs> I, <laughs> every time I shower, there's more flakes of the thing in the tub. That's why I put a tub shroom. You can kind of see, like, there's pieces. Uh, toilet is kind of, you know, there's a lot of, a lot of opportunity here for change. This is actual beautiful granite, but I don't really, it's so huge. And I kind of, I'm kind of thinking like, you know, I like all the storage, but eh. we'll have to, I have to dig into, dig into um, researching like what options would be a good idea. This is 
my bedroom. Um, I put, I, this is the room that's, this thing broke off. I gotta fix, fix this. But, um, this is, I just did this now. The movers were here for about an hour and a half and got everything out. And we, I had them bring the pieces of the bed up here and then I put the bed together, which was stupid because I should have just had them do it. But I, um, I was too tired to think of that. Um, and then I, these all already have clothes in them because I just, my very intelligent friends who helped me pack, bless you, I love you so that many times, 10,000. They told me just take the drawers out, put them back in, and then put them in. Um, and this is going to be the guest bedroom. Here's the mattress I already have. And you can see I have a lovely view. You will have a lovely view if you come stay with me friends i think this might be a black walnut tree i'm not sure i have to look it up or maybe take a piece to a, a local nursery and see if they can identify it um over here uh, this house next door i believe is vacant so you know i don't know what's going on over there gates open looks like they have a deck but um, yeah, so I hung this, I hung this curtain up, not because I was like, oh my God, people can see, but because I thought it might help with the heat because my AC went out and I didn't know. So, um, and here's another closet. Ta -da. And there's another one of those weird panels, those weird Babadook panels. I guess that is for access to the joists and the like underside of the roof in case that needs to be worked on. So that's my house. It's a bit crap today because just moved in. Hey buddy. Yeah. But uh, it's done. I'm here. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me again. I'm exhausted. Uh, if I could go to bed at four in the afternoon, I would, but I, I just can't. <laughs> I wish I could. Um, I am working tomorrow. Not because, not there, you know, it's just, I, I want to. I feel like I have, to, I've had to take so many days to like do house stuff. I wish I could have just taken it all in like one big two week chunk, but I, that's not how things worked out. So, um, yeah, I am alive, barely. I am dead tired, and I think I am going to just do some laundry the rest of the day, have an Epsom soak, F Epsom bath salt bath soak with the Dr. Dr. Teals, got me some Dr. Teals, or maybe I'll do a Lush thing because I have, I have a, I have a bathtub again. I have not had a bathtub, access to a bathtub in like so long. I might even do like an ice cube bath like Lorraine Broughton in um, Atomic Blonde. That sounds amazing actually. Maybe I'll do that. Mm. All right. Well, thank you friends for being interested in this little tour of my house. And I am sorry that it's, you know, being given by a sweaty garden gnome. But it's, it's over with. And I am very excited about this new chapter of my life. And I don't know, like, I've never really had big plans before. I just realized I put that table there backwards. Anyway, <laughs> have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching and listening and taking an interest. And I hope that something good happens to you today. Yeah, so later.